Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. Today we're going to do another plan with me. And this one is from December 3rd through the 9th. I wanted to show you a couple books. Uh, one of you had asked what book I used last week. And it was the Stickers book. So uh, I believe she asked if it was a mom one. And it's not. It's just called Stickers. I wasn't sure. But it does have a lot of to-do stuff. Um, but my days of like carpooling all the kids around and stuff like that is over. But my days of laundry is not. <laughs> so I got this one. I also wanted to show you a couple new books that I got. This one is called Tiny. And I think this is a new one because I hadn't seen it anywhere. But look at some of the cute stickers that are on here. I'm just adoring all of these. Plan on it. Just some fun ones. So I'll just be using these um, kind of like the same way I use these. So you guys always say, oh, you don't have a lot of room for writing. And I, that's on purpose because I use these stickers. Same thing with this one. This is called Healthy Hero. Again, one of the new books, I believe. And we've got our little Healthy Hero girl. And then th this goes in there and it can count your calories and your floors and your steps if you're doing any of that. And then it just has a bunch of healthy um, sayings, saying to work out and gym hair don't care. I think that's my life right now is the gym hair don't care. Um, I just need to go to the gym. <laughs> I just have the hair don't care. Um, but we've got, I mean, they're realists too. You've got a cheat day on here. Um, focus on you. It's just healthy. It's not like weight management or workout management. It's just being healthy, like Wellness Wednesday, no screen time before bed. Just some nice things to get you through your week, little reminders drink more water, um, your meal prep days, if you do that. Taco Tuesday is on there. And this is just fun. And some workout stuff. So I thought this was a good little one to have. And these shoes are just adorable. So these are the three books that I'll be using um, not only here, um, but from here on out. And so I, like I said, I just use the little stickers instead of writing everything down. Instead of writing down laundry, I stick a little laundry basket there and I know. So, what are we going to do today? I absolutely love, and you guys, I'm not getting paid by Happy Planner, even though from everything I'm touting, it looks like it. But I love this punch. It punches out the exact size that we need here. And so... Um, I decided that I have my calendar and I didn't buy the calendar for the actual calendar. I bought the calendar for the great pictures. So I'm going to cut this one right out of there. And I mean, these, these, um, little pictures that are on here, they are just photo frame ready. Like just get a nice cut along there and this could go into a photo frame and hang on your wall uh, I just like it so we're gonna use this and I haven't really decided how as of yet because I really like the silent night on here and I really like the Christmas trees so I think what I want to do and we are just doing this on our own. We're not real sure. But I think I think I'm gonna get rid of the excess that I definitely know I don't need. To make things a little better here. And I think I'm gonna go from here. And I'm not real sure what I'm doing yet, but I know what I don't need. So there's that. <laughs> and 
And I think I want to go and kind of cut these out in the words. And there we go. So we've got that one. This is going to be a little bit of a puzzle, but I'm okay with it. I'm going to put them in order as best I can. And I'm just going to pull this off. And I'm going to go through. It's going to be a lot of cutting and pasting type of thing. But I want this to all go together. Okay, here's what we got. I run into this problem here. I think what I'm going to do is cut this. And I could have very easily probably just cut it on the correct... Um, links, huh? There we go. Like this. Because <laughs> I definitely know that I want these different links. And I know that it's about one and a half. Just a little bit over one and a half. I'm going to make sure with this one. Yeah, it's right at one and a half. So I think we could go and use the paper trimmer and trim them all at one and a half. I was not thinking I really wanted to um, use the punch because it came out the perfect uh, size, but I think we're okay doing this. Ooh, see, that's why I almost cut it at one because I wasn't paying attention. these. I could probably use that trimmer to do it, but I want them to be the perfect size. I think I need that one until much later, but I'm going to put these up like this. I'm going to go from the bottom. We're going to see if this works. I could be very wrong in doing this. I'm going to put it right up to the bottom. punch them all out. That seems to be working. Same thing here. And this paper is really thin because again it was from the Dollar Tree so we're good that way. I need this one. There we 
go. And then I'm just going to cut these little bits out. So what I'm saying basically is you could use whatever you want. You can use a nice, um, you know, scrapbook paper or something in a magazine that you might like. But I thought this was pretty cool. And we're going to see if we could build this. I'm going to save these pictures, these pieces, because I do still have some of the top. I don't need that one. I still need some of this and this one. So I'm going to hand trim these little guys. And then let me see how high this is. We're just going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. All right, so let's build this back the way we had it. And any little pieces that you might have struggling. Yeah, this came together nicely. Some of these pieces that don't really have anything, I don't probably need. Right? Okay. I think I figured it out. I should have started with the top. Not the bottom, but that's okay. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the Silent Night Holy Night or these beautiful trees, so we are okay. Am I missing a hole? Oh no, I cut those out. Yeah, there we go. Where does this one go? There it goes. Perfect. Okay. So we could actually do two out of this one. So I'm going to keep this. for a second one. And I'm going to take this one out because that is going to part of that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put some trees on here. fit rather nicely. And where did that other part go? Did I toss it out? Hmm. 
Mm. That would be me. Not knowing what in the heck I was doing, right? That's okay. Seeing how that would work out. Let's see. I actually may just build one big tree. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, here we go. Being a little bit silly there. Oh, there we go. How was I missing this? There we go, perfect. this. No. Okay. I got it. There we go. Okay. So let me just get some adhesive out. I have this little um, planner glue pen and I was surprised at how well it worked. So you just stick this little guy, you'd either put it right on your planner like that and then stick these down. Or you can put them on here. They're, they stick really good. And what I'm doing is I'm measuring up the bottoms. So it'll go into the afternoons, except for the top I did not measure up at. But I think what I'm gonna do is just go all along here. That seems to work really well. I am having a really good time crafting because Truthfully, crafting at Christmas is my favorite time. I love crafting at Christmas. I don't like to cook or bake for the most part um, any other time of the year. But uh, crafting, I mean baking and cooking, I like to do at Christmas. Crafting I like to do year-round anyways, but really, when it's Christmas, oh, I really like to get my craft on. So, I'm just going through here, getting this situated. And again, like I was saying, I'm going to use stickers, so I'm okay with there not being a lot of... Um, 
white space. And then the white space that I do have, I will um, definitely put into lists. And then you just twist up the pen when you need more glue. And that comes right out of there. I don't know who makes it. I'm going to have to look because I'm going to have to buy more. But I got it at the um, Wandering Planners convention. So I thought that was really cool. It was at the um, Scrapbook Expo that was going on at the same time. And it's called Planner Glue Pen. And I don't know who it's from. Sorry, but it is acid free. So that's good. It could be used on pictures. Ugh. Wow, that one lined up perfectly. I'm actually, right after I'm done with this, I'm going to um, put together next week's because next week I'm going to be in New York and I bought New York stickers and we're going to do, uh, Tony and I are going to do Christmas in New York. So we're not going to spend actual Christmas there, but both of us have just wanted to do um New York during Christmas. You know, the ice skating and Rockefeller Center and that kind of stuff. So we're going to go see a Broadway play and we just have a whole bunch of stuff we want to do. So we only have a certain amount of time, but I think we can fit it all in if we really try. Okay, so I have these really nice uh, Stampin' Up! Um, washies. So I'm just looking to see. Here's the stars that I used last week. This is some more um, checks and I don't think it goes that great. This one would be okay. It's got some copper. This one green doesn't go as well. And then we've got these red dots. I think I might go with the red dots actually. I think we will because we've got some red in there. So, we're going to go ahead, if you guys like the washi, <laughs> hurry, quick, throw in a commercial. If you guys like the washi and want to order your own, I'm sure you use my hostess code. You guys, I don't usually push the hostess code, but this time I'm going to because um, I think I would like to get some little freebies uh, to be able to give away. So that's my thoughts there. So we're going to go through here and put this red down. And I'm going to use this. The same here. And I'm using the um, the clear block, the acrylic block that comes in the paper pumpkin kit. That was a little tip that someone had taught me, and it worked so well. I mean, because my favorite thing to use, and I didn't even think about it, was the um, ruler, which is the exact same thing. And I know I show it often, but it's the exact same thing. It's my acrylic ruler it's and but it's not as you know big to handle so I like it sometimes I laugh when I like just want to pull things out seems like it's always right where I need it I'm like where's the acrylic ruler oh right here I don't plan this guys I just talk <laughs> 
and then things just, you know, I reach for them. So I think this is coming together rather nice. And the last one. There we go. So, um, just a little tip. When I'm done with my washi, I just flip it over and create a little tab. So you'll always know if it's my first because there's no tab. And then, I'm just being a little goofy and this could come and bite me in the butt is I want that whole star to be going. So I'm just gonna get out my little um, X-Acto knife and kind of lightly get the uh, that washi piece off. So hopefully, if I'm not pushing too hard, I'll be able to get that off. go let's see it worked all right so have to be very light-handed on that and be careful because it is basically a razor blade. But I just cut that right into the washi and pulled that little washi piece so we have a whole entire star there. And you guys, we could be done at this point. We could put some more um, ribbon if we wanted to go down the lengthwise, but I don't think I want to do it with the star. Let's see. I'm going to see how this looks here with these little gold stars. And it'll really break it off into um, some nice squares like that, I think. Yeah, I like it. It turns it right back into a nice little planner. I didn't really do the edges, so I'm not going to do the edges here either. I'll be able to do this one. It'll be pretty easy. And then I still don't want that star to be cut like that. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna come down to the star. And then we'll start again right here, but I'm gonna cut this off just a little bit. Into a star-like. Right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top. 
so I didn't put that down very hard so that I could pull it up very lightly. And I'm going to take some really uh, tiny little scissors, I guess. And just cut out a little piece. And the same here. Like it. So we've got that, and now we can go through with our little stickers and put those in wherever we'd like. So I'm just looking over. I always like to put my little coffee cups here. So I'm going to put them there's one right there. We'll get another one on here. Here we go. I'm just going to look to see which one of these I like best. And I think just the red is going to go best with what we've got. So we're going to put this one in red right here since we have a whole square that we could write our little to do list on. And then I'm going to do that over here as well. Definitely on Friday. And then the Cardinals play. I know Tony's flight comes in late that day. So we've got that. Ugh, gotta do laundry. And I think this green actually goes pretty well. So we're gonna get that one on here. And you'll notice most of my stuff is all at the same time. I've got to do some grocery shopping, but I'm going to look to see if there's any others that I want that might have grocery shopping. Because I haven't looked through these, but these tinies may have some groceries. Oh, look at these little coffee cups. Those are adorable too. I love this. That's fun. Oh, there's more laundry. Housework, yuck. Oh, I love these. And these look like little thumbs downs, but you can actually flip them over and they are all thumbs ups. <laughs> Some water there. Got date night on here. Movies and chill. Living for the weekend. Love these little letters. I'll be going through and putting these on for sure. But I'm just looking to see um, which ones. Because I really need some little garbage pails. Um, for trash day would be nice. I love this. I love these pins too. Got some kisses. Oh, here's a little plane. So we've got that little plane that's coming in right here. Real nice. 
And then I got this little guy. And we'll get packing, actually, again. Fly in so you can fly out, right? Actually, I'm gonna put this one right here. For packing for our trip the next day. So I didn't see any grocery shopping. So I guess we're gonna be going with this little guy. And it's time to do the grocery shopping that I do not like to do, which is like the expensive stuff like laundry detergent and dog food and um, toilet paper. And you just buy a few things and it goes through the roof, right? So and I'm trying, I'm actually trying to plan out my dinners um, as well. Here we go. I love weekends. Weekends are for adventures, it says. But I think this one's nice. There we go. I think like this one. It says the best is yet to come. Because next week, what? So much fun. Now we've got chores that have to be done. Ugh. That's no fun. But I'll put that right here the list of chores that need to be done. Got some vacuuming that needs to be done. Ugh, I'm not, I'm not going to put that. <laughs> Got some must do today. That'll be a good one. And then I could put a list. Put the chores and then ugh right by it. Oh, the packing list. Because we've got to do that. I'm actually going to make this. Uh, I think I might put it right here. Oh, yes, right here. There we go. I'm trying to plan my week and think about what I have to do. I've got some buying I need to do. Oh, here we go. Right here. So I'm going to put that one right here. And you guys, I mean, planning is so fun and so easy, and I just love it. I don't think we have any binge watching. There's no time for binge watching. Got some errands. We'll put that on here. I think we're good here. We get Friday. Be productive. And prioritize. Sometimes we need to remember that. And then we're going to go real quick into this one. Love these little shoes. Put these little guys on here for Monday. So 
sometimes you just need the little reminder. Sometimes it just needs to be on your um, planner to get you going too. So I'm going to put on these little water bottles because I am trying very hard to make sure I'm getting enough on my water intake. I love these little vitamin bottles. They're so cute too. But, I mean, you'd have to put them every day. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, seven, two, four, six, eight, ten. You get 70 of them. 70 of them. So that'll get you through, what, two months, right? I'm going to put this little guy right here just because he's super cute. You could also have a like little checklist if you wanted to. And we'll do this little guy. I'm not going to be doing the whole breakfast, lunch, and dinner thing. Here's a drink more water. Let's put one of those. Here's another good one. No fast food. Oh, look. This doesn't really match, but it falls in line perfectly. Ooh, a little too long. Was not thinking. I would rather have it at the edge here and falling back that way. That's just my personal preference. And I think everybody needs this little reminder. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. You got some little positive notes here. I haven't figured out what this is yet. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. And then this whole, how am I feeling? <laughs> yeah. So... I think I'm about done with all of this and then uh, I think I'm going to go into um, actually writing now. So this is what it'll look like before the pen. Not too hard, pretty easy, and then now I'm going to start on next week's and I'll film that for you guys as well so that I can upload it while I'm in New York. Alright beauties, if you like this please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see my planner next week. And I'm sure we'll do some vlogging from New York as well. So, alright. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!